Hello learners, welcome to NIOS Physical Education and Yoga Lesson 5 Part 2. You have seen the and learnt in the previous video about the concept, types and components of physical activity, effects of exercise on muscular system. Dear learners, let us know the objectives of the lesson. The first objective is to understand the effects of exercise on respiratory system, to know the effects of exercise on cardiovascular system and also to learn the concept of yogic physiology. Learners, now we will learn these effects on various systems. The respiratory system consists of a series of organs responsible for taking oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. The organs nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs and alveoli in the figure respiration is the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in our body. The short term effect of exercise on the respiratory system we will study this in detail now. The respiratory system has got higher tidal volume exchange in the body. The rate of the gas exchange also increases. The rate of diffusion of the gas between the alveoli and the blood also increases. During the maximal exercise, exchanging capacity for oxygen increase by 300 percent. The long term effects of exercise are efficiency of respiratory muscle increases, larger lung volumes of trained persons, the increase in volume and capacity of the lung also is there. Residual volume also increases. The volume of air remains in the lungs after maximal expiration is known as residual volume. Residual volume increases which help to exchange the gases in the normal limit. It is the storehouse where air can remain. The pulmonary diffusion increases. The alveoli size increases which produce more space to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now we will study the effects of exercise on the circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of the blood, the heart and the vessels. This system not only carries oxygen but also supply nutrition to cell and tissues, removal of waste products and carries the hormones etc throughout the body. These are the various effects of exercise on circulatory system which we will study learners now in detail. The heart rate increases, resting heart rate is ranging between 60 to 80 beats per minute. During the activity heart rate increases, the stroke volume increases, amount of blood pumped in every heartbeat is known as stroke volume. As a result of exercise, this is increased. The cardiac output increases. Cardiac output is a simple multiplication of the heart rate and the stroke volume. The blood pressure as a result of physical exercise is also increased. The upper limit is known as systolic and the lower limit is known as diastolic blood pressure. The blood volume increases. Increase in the volume of blood plasma results decrease of blood thickness which leads to better blood circulation. Blood flow increases. Increase in the volume of blood plasma results decrease blood thickness which in increases the blood flow also. The size of the heart. Active muscles need more oxygen and nutrition. That requirement can be fulfilled by more flow of the blood. Reasons of increase in blood flow are increase in blood volume, increase in capillaries etc. That also increases the size of the heart as a result of activity which is known as hypertrophy. The lactic acid production decreases. Long term effect of activity includes lower level of accumulation of lactic acid. Due to good circulation of blood, 
which contains good amount of oxygen. Resting heart rate decreases. Due to good circulation and hypertrophy of the heart, the resting heart rate also decreases. General benefits of exercise are weight control, strong muscles and bones, boost energy level, risk of heart diseases decreases, control blood sugar and insulin levels, strengthen cardiovascular and respiratory systems, reduce the risk of cancers. The physiological effects of yoga. Yoga has been practiced for thousands of years for development of physical, mental and spiritual self. Physiological aspects of yoga can be observed in Shuddhi Kriyas, Pranayama and Asanas. The physiological effects of Shuddhi Kriyas are it helps to prevent respiratory disease like bronchitis, asthma etc. It helps to remove excess mucus from our body to cure cold and cough. It helps to cure digestive disorders like acidity, indigestion, constipation etc. Learners few more advantages, cleans colon, removes gas, makes passage clear, normally massages muscles, intestine, excretory organs etc. Jalniti removes pollution from the nasal passages. Now learners, we will study the physiological aspects of pranayam. Pranayam helps in cooling the body systems and relaxes the eyes, nose and ears. Helps to cure the diseases like blood pressure and purify the blood. It also increases the flow of oxygen in blood that keep body fit and healthy. It strengthens the nervous system and relaxes the function of brain. It tones the organs and digestion. The physiological aspects of asanas are also equally important. It improves strength, flexibility, aerobic ability, provides positive changes in toning of muscles, improves ability to recover from injury and also have positive effects on isometric and isotonic muscle contractions. The asanas also play dominant role in diseases like arthritis, back pain, hypertension etc. Asanas help in reduction of the blood pressure, cholesterol, body fat and blood glucose levels. They also improve the functioning of the respiratory system, the immune system and other systems. Finally, let us understand the physiological aspects of exercise. Three types of physical activities are there, the aerobic activities, the anaerobic activities and the flexibility exercises. In the human body, we can classify muscles in three groups as per the characteristics. The aerobic activities as well as the anaerobic activities are an important component of the physiological functions of the human body. Learners, this brings us to the end of the this Lesson part 2. Hope you have enjoyed and learned well. Namaskar.